it is pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty damn rad. It's 30 bucks. Jack's got some cards this morning. Forget about what you sell today. That's the winning. Seven days a week. Open seven days a week. The boys at Friendly. Arguably the best flea market I've ever been to. Oh, nice. Hey, would you would you take 100 for the lot? Um, I've got a funny feeling this could be one of the better trips to the flea market. It is a beautiful day. There are a lot of vendors, and I'm very excited about the things that we're going to be finding today. We're going to be selling all of this onto eBay for a profit. Welcome to the flea. How you doing, mate? Hey, yeah, not bad. Serious collection here. Yeah, a few seasons. Absolutely. Few On eBay or? No, 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 nah. just yeah, old collection clearing out. Really? Yeah. Yeah, right. Do you know if these work at all? Um, the VHS did last time I checked. Yep. But that was a while ago. Yep. Um, so I priced it up basically for parts. Okay. I do know what it's worth, and it's I think it's about two hundred bucks or something. Two hundred. Yeah. Like yeah. But you reckon for parts? I priced it for parts, but it did work mm -hmm. last time it was used. Yeah. Okay. And the Guitar Hero guitars? Uh, again, I think they worked last time. Yeah. Um, just priced up, but oh, that one's meant to be five dollars. Five on this one. <laughs> five each, is it? Yeah. And they still, we can have one of our followers last year, even when they're playing now, it's probably one threat to be silly. Yeah, and this one, it's probably two. This one. Leatherface. It's got 190 bucks. 190 on it, yeah. Yeah. Add that to it. Two guitars, yep. VCR, a couple of games, and the toy as well. Okay. I think it's 5, 10, 20, 35, 65 plus 8, 73. Yep. Do 65? 65 is good. Yeah. Yep. Sweet, mate. I'm very, very interested to do some research when we get back home on that um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre action figure. Um, that one at $30, I just thought there might be some good value in it, just being 2004. Um, Necker as well is a pretty good toy brand. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll open it up and we won't open it up, but we'll get back home, we'll jump into it and we'll look to see how much it's worth a little later on. on the shoes? Hi, uh, 70. 70 on those? They are pretty good, aren't they? Yeah. How much would you take? Right. Would you... I think a little later okay. in the day I might offer you 50. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I'll have a think about it though. Yeah. They are good though. How you doing, young man? That's a good way to introduce it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You all right? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Finding some stuff? Yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you. So, where are we going to order? Just a dollar each. Okay, so we've got the Yeah. How many? You got eight? Okay. One, two, three. Just give us an offer. These are good, Harry Potter. Look who it is. Hey, which team do you support? You got New Zealand Warriors shorts on, you got the Brisbane Heat, and then you got the Sydney Swans. Oh, I just bought this like two minutes ago. Whose signature you got on there? I don't know. I've seen this one as well, Wild Down Under. Just because it's the complete series. But, yo. You're in the video. What do you want to say? Hi. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See ya, mate. I think, though, because we're missing the seventh movie, we've got the full six, but we're missing season seven, part one and two. I might just leave it. Seven days a week. Open seven days a week. The boys at Friendly. Are you working for them now? Yeah. 
I, I, no, you're not. I am. Oh, you are? I'm working on it. Oh, I thought you were just helping them out and wearing their teeth. No, I would anyways, but no. Friendly bricks. Friendly oh, bricks. Yeah, get down. Done some good deals with those boys before. Hey, um, show us your best find today. I don't even know. What have you got? This. It's like a 253 dollars camera. Is it? IXUS 105. See, I was seen listed for about that. I actually didn't check sold. Come saw. on, you've been in the game long enough. 200. Oh, look at, look at you go. Yeah, no, well played. Those Masters of the Universe figures, they were modern, modern replicas of the old stuff, and the old stuff does really well, but we're just going to have another look at it. It is pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty damn rad. It's 30 bucks. But like, modern, modern posing retro play. Hold it. I don't want to drop it. Oh, you want that? Yeah. UK. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. But like this, that goes really well. It was 60, it was 30 ounce five. <laughs> and there's season one. Oh, there's, there's a volume two. That's a disc, disc three missing. Unfortunately. Good old. I think this was ours. It worked. Oh no, it's not, wasn't it? We have the same one though. Man, there's no more. There's these ones down here though. I don't know what these ones are. Christmas special and whatever else. Yeah. Tab so collect. Season one. Volume All right, two. so what do we got? Season one. Volume two, season two, volume one. Oh, it's such a shame that season one. See, that would have been, oh, that would have been great, but it's missing disc three. This one here though, season two could be better. Ah, oh, that's She-Ra, it's close. She-Ra as well. Kind of like, I mean, it is Moku, but it's not. All right, let's do it. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25 bucks. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. All righty. We've got a bunch of Masters of the Universe. Tip the busker. How you doing? Did you just give a fiver? That's all I have. Wow. Lucky. Well done. Jamie, you squashed the Lego. What you got? Oh! Jack's got some cards this morning. Forget about what you sell today. That's the winning. What did you buy the jacket today? Yeah, nice. We're gonna show the shocks in the jacket. Oh, okay. So we'll, we'll go past this because this is the ball and stuff. Yeah? Okay. You got some older vintage stuff, do you? No, nah, not in this. But Charizard's good. Oh, that's a promo one, isn't it? That's a promo one. That one's not. Which one is the Charizard? Not the top here. So oh. it's only like 10, 10 bucks. How much do you pay for the folder, Jax? Damn, um, that Lapras Rainbow's got to be... Oh, that's that really Charizard. Good. That's crazy. Lapras one there. Oh, oh you got a Lapras. Face one, isn't it? Oh, I've got another page attack. here. The pink Pikachu. Are you kidding? So what do you know about these cards to tell you that they're uh, legit? It's more just a feel thing, to be honest. A it's, feel? Yeah, <laughs> that Alakazam is rad. What else you get? Uh, I got another one from this... No, these, aren't, these aren't crazy ones. Oh, you got more cards? Yeah. These, these are the older ones, but... No, there's... um. Oh, that vintage. A couple of them are, yeah. See, the Kindra. Oh, the Kindra. Cedra. Dratini, just common. Um, are they Shadowless? Nine Tails. Oh, you got a Nine Tails and a Gyarados. Damn. Oh, and um, you've also... I like these, too. You got... um. These ones, that yeah. Nine you tails. play those on the game. The yeah, these series. Yeah. You swipe them in the game. And they're my favourite. And then... um. Weeping Bell up the there. Oh, you got the news. Yeah. That's what you just sold that one, didn't you? Yeah, 60 yeah. bucks in like two hours. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? It's 35 bucks. $35 for all these cards. So we reckon we reckon that the Pokemon cards are potentially in the bigger folder, majority of them are fake, but we reckon that the small folder, obviously being vintage cards, are pretty genuine. So regardless, when you pay $35, even for that small folder alone, it's wildly profitable. So crazy grab down the flea. Not too bad. Well done. <laughs> well done. Jeez, that's nice. It's good clothing. 
Nike Golf. How much on the? 20 bucks. 20 on that. That is very nice. Do you know what size it is? Someone just asked the same question. Yeah. We, Maybe it'll be on the inner tag. Yeah, we couldn't find it. No, uh, it could be down here, actually. Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't see it. Oh, okay. It's my son's... Um, it's strange, they normally have it on that like tag. It's medium. He's not, it's not huge. No. Uh, just so medium. Is that your one, mate? Nope. Nope. 30. How cool. Do you know if he, you know <laughs> 15 if he, bucks. 15 bucks, you know if he works? Um, I'm not really sure. I'm not can't sure. be sure. Yeah, okay. It just, it's got, I haven't got batteries in it. I don't know whether it works. Yeah, okay. Would you do 10 on it? Yeah, I'll do 10. I'll get rid of anything. I can't say no to it. Hey, this one's good. Minecraft. I have two of those at home. Not anymore, mate. What do you mean? It's 15 bucks. 15? Yeah, it is. Oh, this one's good. This one's great. I knew the fear was good. It's not that good anymore. The Witcher? No. It's the game of the year, though. It's like 15 bucks. Hey, what are you It's doing? the game of the year. Yeah, it's actually like 20, 30 dollars. You'll be trying to sell it for a while. Why don't you buy the box? Because I have to get one really game through the crystal. Simpsons Season 7, boys. Oh. Digimon. Nice. Stuff that I've left with you. Oh, no. <laughs> That's nice, Jamie. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, wow. Controllers. Jeez, you're building up a bit of a collection here yeah, at this no. booth. Goodness me, we'll add these into the mix. Yeah. Look after no. that seal one. Appreciate that. Get that one in there for yeah. you. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah. Look at the service. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, not done. No, we've got the wheel as well. Jeez, Jamie. Yeah. Wow, we. Actually, might keep the wheel as well. You might play it. Um, yeah, I'll probably use it for a bit. But it's an Xbox 360 one, is it? Yeah, but it's got Clark shit. Oh, it's got the everything. Okay. That's cool. Xbox One. That's right. Sweet. Well, thank you. All right. Have a good day. Unreal. Good stuff. Good to see you. Hey, would you would you take a hundred for the lot? Um, honestly, I'd take five hundred to get rid of it. It's <laughs> worth more than that. But like, buy those Digimon's off your How much you pay for them? Ten. No. <laughs> what about this? You want this whole, all of these Japanese ones, and this? You know how much that's worth? Thirty bucks. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. I was right. For the whole thing. Yeah, but like, what am I gonna, what am I gonna do with these? Didn't you just buy a Nintendo sixty-four or Nintendo whatever? Just test them on. You can test them. First game two is great. Yeah, it's worth thirty-five. That's a PAL one. Is that the best one? Is that the, the UJ one? How much is that worth? I don't know. I just know that the, the sliding Olympus are good. Jamie, because this one's worth... Oh, that's okay. Yeah. This one's worth 250 bucks, so how can that one be better? Yeah, this one's worth 100, 250. I've sold one similar to that, 600 bucks. Yeah, I think so. What? What? Oh, what? Just here? Right there on the ground. What about those Warhammer books? I saw them, just 20 a piece. All right, give me the camera back, Jamie. And put it in there. Dude, you're rocking the. Are they? Let's see what else you're you rocking the eBay dunks. Uh, it's about one for right. seventy. Are they legit? I know. Or are they fake? I can't tell the difference. You're legit. The weird, it's the yeah. says I got them off eBay. Yeah, I think like, so. Because that's the MJU. Yes, right. That's the MJ, yeah. They're mint. So it must well. be the MJ. I, mean, I stepped I, in mud this morning, but like. Yeah. And underneath? Because I know exactly what you're it's talking about. It's even got the clear. Underneath. Dude, I've been getting I a lot of people once. saying yeah. it looked like rubbish, but I'm rocking them. So. What do you guys reckon the eBay dunks? Yeah, Any good or disgusting. no? Disgusting. Arguably the best flea market I've ever been to. Of all the Sundays that we've had down here, this has got to be probably the best one. Well yeah, done. How are you going? Good. Good to you? see you. Oh, you doing well? Yeah. You yeah. doing well? Yeah, I'm going good now. Oh, that's good to mate? see. These are cool. Yeah. How you going? Good, thanks. How are you? What's the story behind all of these? Um, hand painted. So hand painted? My uncle does the carving like that, the machine, and then wow. he just gives them to me and I just You them. paint them up? Yeah. Jeez, this is, this is cool. <laughs> Takes a while. Oh, I bet it does. But they're very well done. Thank you. And they match the club colours perfectly. Yeah. I know, that was the one thing I'm so particular on. You have to get it right, don't you? Yeah. They wouldn't sell really otherwise. Yeah. Do, do you sell them well? 
Yeah, so I bet. <laughs> great, great for the bar, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's incredible. There we go. <laughs> Prime carvings. If you want to get your favourite, is it just NRL? Um, NRL, customised, anything really. Anything. Wood carvings, incredibly well painted. <laughs> There's the details. Go give them a follow on Facebook or Instagram? Uh, Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. Unreal. Thank you. No worries. Have a good one. All the best. And just like that, we are back home. Let's spin the camera around and I want to take you through the items that I found today and I just want to give you a bit of an idea about how much I think I'm going to be able to sell it for on eBay. I actually want to kick things off with this brand new and sealed Xbox 360 game. Couldn't believe it when I saw it, but you want to be finding these factory sealed games because the value goes up astronomically. Somebody's actually trying to sell this game on eBay for $577. I don't know if they're going to get it and I don't think I'm going to list mine anywhere near that. But I am going to get some pretty decent money for this game. Even though there is a bit of a mark, as you can see there, there's some peel on the factory seal. So that's going to devalue it ever so slightly. But I'm going to estimate $80 to $100 for this thing. And we only paid the 5 bucks, so that was great. Um, I think this game here goes for about $20 to $25 as well. So I just thought I'd grab that, considering I saw it at the time. Um, this one's such an interesting item for $30 with a $190 price tag on it. Leather face, horror action figures, complete in box, always do really well. Obviously, I touched on the fact that it was a NECA toy, as you can see there. Um, that's going to help things. And it's also a 2004, so it is vintage. Um, there it is just down there, 2004. So, you know, there is some, some damage to it, no doubt about it. It's definitely not a um, pristine case by any means. You can see here this peels right away. Um, you can actually get in there quite considerably. But apart from that, it is in very good condition. It is complete. And I reckon I can get about 100 bucks for it, to be honest with you. I'm going to shoot for about 100 on eBay and we'll see how we go. Um, these VCRs do really well. We've got the V181. Now, I paid 25 about 20 actually on the deal. Um, I'm going to fire this up and see and make sure that it works. But I think we can get about $130 odd, roughly speaking, which is pretty standard for these sorts of devices. I'd love to pick them up. And then these ones here, the Guitar Hero guitars, I have bought them in the past. I've, I found a heap at a cash converter, a local pawn shop, and I was selling them for about $100 uh, each. So there could be about $200 worth of value in these two right here. Um, love them. Love selling them. They're not the worst things to ship off. At most, you're paying anywhere between $15 to $20. I'm paying just $5 a piece for them. So I'm going to convert that into $100 each uh, pretty quickly. Masters of the Universe. This was a good one as well. Now, the issue is it wasn't a complete series. So we're only talking part season sets. And that devalues it ever so slightly. Obviously, the disc three missing doesn't help us as well. You're going to get about $15 to $20 a piece for these Masters of the Universe DVDs. I'm actually going to go ahead and sell them as a bundle. And I'm going to try and list it up for about $100. So a $100 bundle, Master of the Universe. Put it into a box. Should ship off pretty nicely. A good $25 purchase. And then we grab the Furby. Couldn't resist the Furby. Got to fire him up and make sure that he works. But these things can be a $30 to $40 sale price pretty easily on eBay. And there is a good collector's market out there for them. So in the end, it was a clean $100 bill. Uh, that I guess got me all of this. And I think, to be honest with you, we're going to get a $100 sale price on that one there. So incredibly awesome time at the flea. If you missed this flea market video right here, we had another similar result of awesome finds. Thanks for being here for this one. We'll see you soon.